okay, okay. Let's go on a trip. How do we search? Use this! Dragon Radar! Now, let's go! That's all the goddamn plot I need as far as I'm concerned. Um, <laughs> it really does not make sense. But, this game is the chopped up and edited version of... Oh, gee, let's look it up. Uh, Dragon Ball Shenlong no Nazo for the uh, Famicom. This is actually the second ever Dragon Ball video game. When we got it here in the States, it was renamed to Dragon Power. And suffered a lot of edits. But for the most part, the game is intact, and if you're familiar with Dragon Ball, you know what's going on. For example, that's the boss, Bear, with the sword. And if you take anything from this game, take the fact that if you're ever attacked by a sword-wielding bear, punch it in the balls repeatedly, and you will be fine. Uh, Balma's being abducted by some sort of bird dinosaur monster that inhabits the Dragon Ball world, and so far, we're following the story of Dragon Ball pretty closely. It doesn't really give you an explanation for why you're going on a trip and what you're searching for. But like I said, if you're familiar with Dragon Ball, you know that you're looking for Dragon Balls. In this game, they're called Crystal Balls, but you still look for them with a Dragon Radar anyhow. That's pretty cool, I guess. Uh, one of the things I do appreciate about this game is the Hoi Poi Castles like I just picked up there. And you can get a lot of different power-ups, like that one makes your legs go crazy and you run very fast. You can also get the Neo Bow, or power pole if you're that kind of a fan and uh you know health power ups you know extra health and shields and you know power ups that would be in a video game ones that make sense for a dragon ball game though uh a lot of the names have been changed i keep calling her balma but in this game she's referred to as nora hey are you all right I'm fine. But get that band of thieves. Okay. So these are apparently some thieves, and there's a fairy, and he looks just like that bear that I, you know, punched in the balls a bunch of times a minute ago. Goku's hair has been chopped down off of his sprite. That's weird. Uh, according to the Wikipedia article, they say that uh, this game claims to be based just on Journey to the West and makes no mention of Dragon Ball. At the time, there was no Dragon Ball license in North America, so... I believe this game was published here by Bandai. Let's confirm that. Yeah, this is a Bandai game. And the cover of the game itself is pretty hilarious. It's just a generic kung fu guy in a white gi with a sweet dragon. Pretty interesting. All things considered, this game does a very good job of recreating the earliest chapters of Dragon Ball. There's the turtle looking for a way back to the ocean. <laughs> Don't joke. We have no time. I will show him the way myself. Yeah, not totally inaccurate. <laughs> uh, some questionable changes have been made. I'm not sure if Goku's name changed in this game or if they ever make mention of his name. So, you're probably asking, hey, Jerry Terrifying, I like Dragon Ball. I like video games. I mean, that is why I'm watching your videos. Should I buy this game? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Let's hold. Let's 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 stop and think about this for a minute. This game is by no means getting a mondo cool out of me. I did have fun while playing it, but it's one of those notoriously hard games.
I'm sorry, I just wanted to, uh, check out this conversation. Swift Cloud. A lot of you people probably know it as Nimbus, or Kintaun, which is the Japanese name. <laughs> That's what I was waiting for. Okay, give me your sandwich. <laughs> Why do you and Hermit want it? Quiet. In the original Japanese version of Dragon Ball, Master Roshi uh, asks to see her panties. That red probably symbolizes the geyser of blood that erupted from his nose. And, uh, yeah, I just wanted to check out what <laughs> this conversation was again. So they change panties to, uh, sandwich. The original gag was Goku had taken Bulma's panties, so she really flashed him as Snatch. So this game's all about being a pervert. Um. <laughs> so... Anyway, back to when I was actually reviewing this game. Uh, should you buy this? It's definitely not a Mondo Cool game. But I'm not going to say it's a doo-doo game either. If you're a huge fan of Dragon Ball, and you see this for $5 or less, go ahead and pick it up. Um, I just checked Amazon, and it's at $1.50, plus the $4 for shipping, which is standard, the $3.99 shipping. Uh, yeah, I would go ahead and buy it. You know, five fifty, whatever. So let's say six dollars and less. You could probably find it pretty cheap if you found it, you know, at a brick and mortar store in your area. It's worth a couple bucks. Any more than six, you're really starting to push it, and that's just for the hardcore Dragon Ball fans. So this game does a pretty good job of. Uh, dealing with the earliest parts of Dragon Ball. Like, right now you're looking for Pudgy, or, as he's actually named, Oolong. And you have to search this village for Oolong, who's hiding. You know, that wasn't Oolong, that was just some girl that kissed me and took away my pal. And, uh, you know, you gotta beat her ass, because she should be in the kitchen or something. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, hey, that's their culture, not mine, right? <laughs> um... So, yeah, if you're a Dragon Ball fan, and you want to own the second ever Dragon Ball game, the first one ever released in the United States, the first one being on some bizarre system for the Super Cassette Vision, and was probably of not any note, um, yeah, so, this game's playable. I don't know if it can be beat, though, you know, it's one of those super difficult Nintendo games. Uh, I didn't get that far when I was recording this, but the game sessions I put in before attempting to record it, I did manage to get pretty far. I got to where you first encounter Yamcha, or as he's called in this, uh, Lancer. So, I did manage to get pretty far into the game, and I had a good time doing it. It was interesting, but this is by no means a classic or a must-own. This is a this is a pass for almost everyone watching this, unless you're a hardcore Dragon Ball fan and you like what you see here. But it is difficult, and get used to seeing the game over screen. I'm surprised I managed to get this far on a single life. I did pretty damn good, and uh, yeah. So if you see this game six, seven, you know, five or six dollars and less, go ahead and pick it up. It's not worth much more than that, though. And that's just, you know, looking at Amazon and taking into account the shipping price. So, you know, ultimately that seller, after he actually pays for shipping, he's probably only going to get, like, three bucks. So, you know, take that for what it is. As always, more videos and reviews on the way, and check out all of my work at MondoCoolCast.com.